Stop was turning microphones off. He knows. Mm -hmm. The 2021 one. Oh, did everything just drop out for everybody? Yes. Is, it, yeah. is this me? It's so quiet. It's so quiet in my head. I want candy. Ch -ch 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 -ch. No, I see what I did. I'll do it in post. Talking with words. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey. Hola. Welcome to Talking with Words. <laughs> You're here with Rob. Sally. James. Taylor. Cameron. <laughs> And Ryan. And we're going to watch another holiday treat called Silent Night <laughs> from 2012. Holy yeah, we already got that bullshit. Stop. You mean 21? Was it 21? Yeah. No, no this is 2012. You're, like, You're thinking of the movie starring um, Keira Knightley. Yep. That is a love story. I mean, he did just ask that question. And that was confirmed, but... True yeah. story, you did. Our bad. Yeah. I said the 2021, and you said, yep, yeah, that's it. you did. Just one. Stand by it. Rewind it. Uh, <laughs> we're going to watch a lot of different movies tonight. Okay. So, this is described as the police force of a remote Midwestern town search for a killer Santa Claus who is picking off citizens on Christmas Evie. Is that how you pronounce that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think so. Starring. Ooh, Malcolm McDowell. The Magnificent. Malcolm McDowell. And Jamie King. God damn. Jamie King. What, when you, uh, Sally, <laughs> when you see Malcolm McDowell, what is your first thought? Andy McDowell. Oh. Another no kid. Yeah, that's very <laughs> different. But I've seen him in stuff. Yeah, because he's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. I just can't think of Ever seen of A Clockwork Orange? Negative. Yes. So good. He's the guy that they milk. He's the milker. Okay, great. Disturbing. You ever see the remake of Halloween by Rob Zombie? Rob nope. Zombie uses them a lot. Yep. He prefers to, uh, to be called Bob. Law and Order SVU? I, I, he was in Heroes, that show that we talked about that you never watched. We can be heroes! Also, uh, and it's weird to think about works. this now because the Santa in this wears a mask, I think, the entire time. But Donald Logue is Santa Jim is his name. Anybody remember him? Yeah, what's that? Yeah. What's that from? Patriots. He what? He was in the Patriot. The Patriot? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember the Patriot. I mean, I remember the Patriot. I don't remember him that. I remember him in like in Ghost Rider. He was his buddy. He was in a show that should never have been canceled called Terriers. He was in Blade. Uh, he was in Gotham. He was in Blade. Yeah, he was the yeah. I got your big sticker <laughs> in Blade. Mm -hmm. He was in Gotham, yeah. and he's yeah. in yeah. and he's in um, oh, so Mr. Close. Mercedes. <laughs> that was not him. A very different person. What else was he in? He's Sense of Freedom. Uh, like, a, a I know. Of I've seen something. Oh, he played else. the crazy FBI agent, Sons of Anarchy, too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's who I'm thinking he was. Sorry, that's who I'm thinking he was. Sorry, thinking he was. The first episode you saw him. And which one? Sons of Anarchy. That's oh, who, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of. Uh, yeah, Agent Tork. Gotham, I love him. Cloverfield. No, I've never seen No, that the one. Paradox. We have not watched the Paradox yeah. because. Mm, no, no, no it, it oh, was. Oh, yeah, he was the Vikings. He was the king in Vikings. I forgot about that. Is no, mine was Sons of Anarchy. More from Ground of the Life than Sons of <laughs> a, a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Shut up, Cameron. I keep yeah. forgetting how young you are. You're a baby. <laughs> well, there's a parent's guide here somewhere. There it is. Is that it? That's it. There it is. Okay. Hey, Sally O'Malley. I'm 50. Go ahead. 43. She's not 50. Okay. <laughs> Don't say that loud. Sex and nudity is moderate. Yeah. It's just right. based on 20 votes, though. Okay. Violence and gore is severe. Ooh. Huh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. There's You're... a lot of violence and gore. Hold on. There's a lot. It tells a lot about that. Yeah. Profanity is severe. Ooh, 31 F words. Fuck. 12 S words, and I don't think that means stupid. Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol, drugs, and smoking, moderate. Mm. Just some cocaine and stuff. And then frightening and intense scenes, severe. Definitely mm. not. 
for the faint of heart. It literally really says that. Huh. The whole field is in tears. Well, he even kills a 14 year old girl. There's no why remorse. Why are you saying that right now? <laughs> it doesn't say spoiler. <laughs> Those are the facts underneath it. I'll tell you what. That's what I do. Is there any more? No, Not I, facts. You'll get any to more watch of it this? Now. Okay. You know what I was like waking up with a Christmas board in my cracker? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> no. Not cracker. Should, uh, so Tyler, are you going to stay and watch this film with us? She said no. Anybody want to add anything before we get into this? What were you just talking about? Waking up with... I don't know. Maybe like Silent Night. I was just expecting like, you know, quiet night. Okay. At home. <laughs> I've got one. I've got one to start the start off with. Here's what I want to say. Oh, A little piece of Christmas trivia. You you at home can play as well. In in Jingle Bells, what is the name of the horse? Batman smells. Answer. Jingle. Arnold. Is that it? Is everybody? Is everybody? A, horse. a lot of dead is Everybody air. who wanted to answer, I'm answer. Go, I'm gonna go with horse. Bells on Bob Hill ring. I think they you're just making shit up at this point. It's bright. What's the horse's name? What's Bobtail? That... Trick question. No. Bobtail is actually a, a, a hairstyle on the horse. The horse. So you wanted me to say Bobtail. That's right, you dummy. You fucking fell for it. The horse has no name in Jingle Bells. We can cut oh, all that shit out. I was thinking right. Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> Jingle Bell Rock? That's Giddy a different song. up, Jingle Horse. Pick up your feet. Yeah, that's jingle big. around the clock. That song is called uh, Mix Jingle Bell Rock. Mix jingle and jingle, jingle and beat. Are you, are you angry they stole your original choreography? I have some really good choreography. I thought it was I Jingle Fragger Rock. That song. <laughs> I'm watching the wrong stuff, apparently. <laughs> hey, let's watch a weird movie about a Santa that kills people with a blowtorch. This is the wrong hey, stuff. Honey. What we're about to watch is the wrong stuff. I think it's called Baby. The Right Stuff. Love the way you took me on. The what wrong are stuff. If you've listened to our weird podcast, it's the white stuff inside of an Oreo. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good movie. It was a good movie. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to watch this, and Sally is leaving in disgust. We'll see in the shake of a Bobcat's tail or whatever the fuck Taylor was talking about. <laughs> All right, Silent Night. What do you guys think? Talk about the war on Christmas. <laughs> don't 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 make it political. <laughs> <laughs> Start with someone else, <laughs> James. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, well, I, it, it seemed pretty random uh, throughout the whole thing. We got Santa killing folks, and I couldn't figure out why. I mean, some of them maybe it was obvious what. They weren't like just everyday good citizens, but you know they weren't hurting them. Nobody, some of them. They wasn't hurting nobody. The, 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 the right. people Cocaine doing never hurt anybody. The people doing porn in the, in the motel. I mean, who were they hurting? Wanted to go after her. She wasn't making no I'm noise. Santa mad at them. I don't know. I, I got a lot of questions about why Santa was killing some of these people. I got a lot of problems with you people, and we're going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Cameron, what do you think? Uh, pretty good comedy. I mean, I know you like horror movies and slashers, so. Yeah, and that's exactly, I mean, it, it, it was more of a comedy for me than, than it was a horror movie, just because you're laughing at the ridiculousness of scenes and lines and all sorts of storylines and everything. It's just a little humorous to me, and you guys have already brainwashed me enough, all this stuff doesn't bother me anymore, so it's not a horror movie, it's a comedy. That means we're doing our job, really, is what it comes down to. I'm being held against my will. I don't know what I'm doing here. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> yeah, put him back in his hole. <laughs> Ryan? Um, I enjoyed it. It's not the best Christmas slasher we watched, but 
it was entertaining. Like I said, set set the bar low, and you'll never be disappointed. So, so what's the That's enjoyable very true. part of it besides besides the thirty seven murders? So you're so you're in it for the glory. Then. I don't know. This one definitely See, had uh, yeah. Ooh. Malcolm McDowell. His one liners were oh my god, <laughs> golden. Some of the lines and acting in this film were either so bad or so goofy. That's right. So that bad, it's good. That's it's it, yeah. It's it's worth the watch alone. I mean, don't put avocado on a burger. Uh, is holy shit. Or hummus. I'm damn sure don't add hummus. You, don't uh, bring a flamethrower to a gunfight. The fact that they got Malcolm McDowell to do this movie is amazing in itself. Now he's a he's a Shakespearean actor, isn't he? Yeah. I wonder if he read the script first and those lines were already in it, and that's what drew him in. Yeah. The he's, or or was that just like. You do you. He's definitely making fun of the either the writer or the director by doing exactly what was written for him. But he's also known for that. Like he's been doing this for decades. Yeah. The because I mean, the first thing, like I said earlier, the first thing I remember him from is A Clockwork Orange, which is bizarre as shit in itself. It was a phenomenal movie. But ever since then, he's been doing crazy other shit. B movie stuff for the most part, yeah. and now he's like a B movie icon because he was that guy, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think this is just him like eh, I'm gonna get a paycheck for doing weird shit. Yeah, and I get to play a sheriff. That's fun. Never done that before. <laughs> An American one, but I'm not gonna curb my accent at all. <laughs> that that stood out. <laughs> that accent did not belong in this uh, mid American town that it was uh, supposed to be. That's Canton. Was yeah. it Wisconsin? Crier, Crier, Wisconsin. Crier. Crier. Yeah. You know, because of the crime. A little bit of that. Yeah, he needed to be drinking, like, the entire movie. That was what was missing. That was the one piece that was missing. I'll give you that. He needs, like, a flask that he carried around. He needs, like, a flask that he was swimming. It just said fucking time. sheriff on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're close. I can smell him. Like, just take yeah. a big old sip of this <laughs> flask. It doesn't. We're on his trail now. I'm not going to go down that alley that he just ran past, but we're definitely on his trail at this point. <laughs> I mean, he's literally on the phone with the mayor, telling him how he's on the case <laughs> while the mayor is being choked to death. They're cutting out. I can't hear you. They're very close. Oh shit! All right. So, and I'm gonna go over. I want to go over all the deaths once we get into this. But yeah. let's start with the intro, which I did like. That a Santa killer movie started with the guy shaving his face. I sure. thought that was a, a interesting choice. But all it gets yeah. real itchy under that fake beard. You've got to. You have no idea. You got to really take it down. You don't want beard on beard. Yeah. But I really like the mask you put together. Yeah. I mean, nice. I'm gonna like it's gonna be on my wall in a couple of days because <laughs> that was solid. That you took the creepy plastic, uh, what was that heat when mm-hmm. they used those masks? Yeah. And then he cut the bottom out, put the the beard on it, put the eyebrows on it. Solid. And he had multiple, right? Like he had a stash. Yeah, he had really, cases. Yeah, yeah. mask and uh, white beard gets a little red. Well, you can buy him in bulk. He went yeah. to Costco. There you go. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> well, here, here's my issue with the mask. He killed everybody who saw him. So. No, not everyone. Who didn't he kill? He, oh, he I guess the children. The mom. Yeah, the old dad, the that's mom of the, of the little 14 year old girl brother. that Sally ruined for all of us. Yeah, but he could have just kept the beard on. Yeah, the uh, cop admin. His plan well, was, I mean, we'll, like, we'll get there. But yeah. He was going for it. I don't think he was, because you break off the handle and she's stuck in there. That was just kind of a, uh, oh, stuck in there. Yeah. yeah. That was kind of a, hey, you wait here moment. It's, it's yeah. safe in here. I don't think she was dying. Well, going back to the senselessness of all of it, I mean, the opening murders, I mean, there's we have no idea who these people are, where they're from, or what they may have done, other than possibly somebody was there, there cheating was some on somebody. There were some adulterous actions mentioned. So let's let's Sleuths. let's go ahead and 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 Sleuths and Hoors. Hey, spoilers. Let's go. We we we're gonna work <coughs> from the back and then go to the front and work our way back up to the back. If that <laughs> said, everybody, yeah, get it. So <laughs> the reveal at the end is that he's the son of the Santa that did the murders. What thirty years before. Because his dad was the original Santa killer that went to the party to catch his mom with the dude he she was he was 
the dude she was banging. Swallowed the spider to catch the fly. And why, then why? burnt them with flamethrower. And Flame he saw it happen. Thrower. And the person who killed his dad was our uh, protagonist's yeah. father. Okay, with that in mind, let's go through the whole killings because none of the other killings make really good sense. Other than the fact that it's like, ah, oh, you were naughty. I'm going to smack you in your Christmas. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Exactly. And we start with Jordan, the deputy that apparently couldn't show up for work because he got electrocuted to death. And he was banging somebody else. So that one kind of makes sense because yeah. he, he was... He was, bearing a maid, he was banging a married chick. Right. So that one makes a little bit of sense. But he wasn't just like going around like killing adulterers. Like, I'll give that one a pass. I will say he... He spent more time oh. killing that guy than anybody else because he he took the time to like you know I guess make him unconscious. Listen, the first time one's the hardest. Chair. After that, they all get easier. Yeah, he, no, he did fair. the he did the Christmas lights. We all know how difficult putting Christmas lights together are. Now imagine trying to put Christmas lights together that electrocute someone. Now thinking back, it's not that difficult. Let's go. Let's go back a little bit here to this first murder because I just realized they got killed inside the house that's all boarded up. Now, were they having the affair in the house in the nasty, uh, decrepit uh, heroin den? Listen, the weirder it is, the sexier it is. I mean... It's either that or the uh, pay-by-the-hour motel there. Yeah. yeah. A lot of open homes are just there for sale. We've seen that he knows how to pick people up and throw them into places, so he could have just brought them to the house. And maybe it was his old house. For, for yeah. every murder we go through, I will give you valid reason for killing All right. about that. Cameron is going to be I our... I think it's more justified than what you're making. You're gonna be our our moral base He's on, for the whole thing. He's on I, I, the, I, I got the killer Santa side over here. We, so, we all we all made the comment at the beginning. Most of the people that died deserved to die. Yeah, so like the fourteen year old girl. Yeah, one hundred percent. Boy, I'm gonna bounce you guys off of my jury if I ever wind up. <laughs> they killed that fourteen year old. What did you want for Christmas? Everything. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not cutting that. So <laughs> yeah, we start with. We have Jordan, the cop, in the basement with the lights, and he's got, like, the almost electric chair scenario on his head. In the next room, we have the girl, the the wife of somebody else that he's banging, tied up in the bed. And fast forward just in a little bit. Piece. In one piece. That's, That's, yeah, exactly. Fast forward a little bit. James was talking about it takes a lot to uh, electrocute somebody with lights. It takes a lot more work to chop somebody up. Your arms get real tired real fast. I don't know if you have the angle right. Fast forward, he's got a lot of work to do coming up. So oh, I mean, he's save that strength. I, I, we've all heard the Santa song. Yeah, mm. but he has the Christmas spirit, and that probably helped him a lot. You know, I bet. Yeah, he didn't have elves, but he had the Christmas spirit. Mm-hmm. It's the Santa magic. Those Christmas cookies will get you a long way. You know, I bet her husband uh, probably had a life insurance. I bet he had a really good uh, Christmas. You know, his cheating whore wife got chopped up and. He gets the life insurance. Also, you know, I didn't think about this, but he like he fucks with the coke dealer first. Like he could have been coked up the whole time. That would have helped a lot. Sure. Hmm. You don't even have to like stop. Point. You Same. just shit yourself as you go. Santa's love snow. You know. Dealer was snowflake. Mister. Mister Snow. Mister Snow. Snowflake Snow. was the crossword answer. Called it. I think the intro scene was by far one of the better scenes of the entire movie. I think it was a. Pretty quick spiral downhill from from that. (laughs) Just the way they set it up, like you said, like the whole shaving, you're not seeing his face yet, you kind of have an idea of what he looks like, but you don't really know. The making of the mask, going down to the basement, seeing this dude tied up. I did like, I really did like the the intro section with him. Uh, And then you have the reveal of the girls in the next room screaming while he's just very calmly shaving. And then you go downstairs and the guy's tied up begging for his life. All that was fantastic. Shaving in dirty sink, too. That's a good Very place. dirty sink. Yeah, it's like the opposite of when Mr. Rogers would come in and take off one jacket and put another on, <laughs> change his shoes. <laughs> it, it, yeah, this is like... It, this, is, this is horror. Uh, to be fair, that's a great point, because as soon as he left the bathroom, he opened two cases. <laughs> one had a Santa suit of flamethrower in it, the other one had all the different mask pieces that he... he 
uh, cobbled together as a as, as craft project for the year. Well, I mean, preparation is usually seen as a virtue. And <laughs> when it comes to a mass murder or a serial killer, it's kind of like, oh, fuck. I mean, you know, I mean we watch that scene with, like, won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be my neighbor oh, the whole yeah. time? It's probably mm -hmm. way more creepy. Mm -hmm. It's got to be weirder. Or better. Say, won't he, you be mine? He put his so outfit they on. They well, tap into our childhood. Rather be. aggressive. Yeah. My slayer. Well, we all laughed when he did the. Uh, he slid the glove on, and it was yeah, like that glove. shink. <laughs> 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 it was fantastic. Yeah, but the OJ. I mean, that was like a. Forgive me uh, for dating myself, but that's like an A team moment. He's ready. What's that? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, that was that was his you know dress up montage there, kind of like yeah. a, a little bit like Arthur Clown, mm -hmm. ah, getting his true. goodies together. Exactly. Well, true we that. also have other references to the glove fitting. Oh God, yeah, but that's that's worth that it. OJ reference. Yep. I'm not acquitting this motherfucker of anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wife do again? Oh. Hey, uh, okay, so hold on. There's, there's something that's not in there. How was he sourcing all these targets? I mean, I had a problem with it at first because he knew exactly where to go. Camera's going to help us out with that. It's a small town. No, I told you I'd give the justification for the killing. Oh, not, not the actual not, sourcing. Not okay, how he that's fair. Sourced. Well, that's he's fair. been he's been planning for it for a year, I would assume. He's been, you know, he's been scoping the town out. because he years out well, He's been living there. The Santa thing. Huh? Yeah, you know, town. he's just been living and watching. Oh, no, he That's travels around. That's his town. No, he goes, he goes town. No, no, town. no, that was Epstein. No, new, new town every year. No, that was Epstein. This guy, this guy's been living. He's been this like has a direct connection. He's been slowly starting to kill dogs and cats and like getting up, his, rank his it, wrapping up. Was killed by the protagonist's father in the same town. You okay. know, Rob it's Reiner. Happy, happy uh, Rob Reiner. Well, even even our our deputy Bradmore. She's like, that's an urban legend. This guy that just goes around killing people at Christmas. That's weird. After you you finish it off, because her dad fucking killed him. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, so yeah, his her dad never told her about that. But you think that'd be like common knowledge? But, uh, I think the town's been well, covered it up. So I mean, she looked at the police report. You, I mean, you go to school the next day. They're like, your dad killed Santa. Your dad killed Santa. <laughs> like kids are assholes. There's no way that she does not know that that actually happened. Right, that happened, but it didn't happen in multiple places. That was the urban legend part of it. So, like, the original killing happened. You know, he flamed through, yeah. throwed a bunch of people at a Christmas he party. He flamed through? So flamed through or flamed forward? He flamed through? He, he flamed? flamed okay. He flamed them? Yeah. Let's get past it. <laughs> hey, so, and then we cut to her uh, introduction, and she's doing crosswords because she's so smart. But she and can't she, figure out Snowflake. She was asleep in bed and she got called into work. By the best sheriff of all time. And uh, he said... Name? Sheriff what? Anybody wrote know. that down? I didn't write it down. I didn't write it down. shit down. Nah, that doesn't matter. Anyway, I love the intro to him because you automatically know this guy's a piece of shit. Because... She's like, oh, you know, I'm, you know it's it's <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. It's my first uh, Christmas without my husband or John. Uh, oh man, Sheriff a couple of Cooper. those. Cooper. Oh, of course it's Cooper. He says, okay, well, I'll see you in a little bit, and then hangs up on her. But before <laughs> that, she goes, well, where's Jordan? And he goes, well, he probably ran off with somebody. You know, some piece of meow. <laughs> that immediately tells you who this person is. Hey, in his defense, it looks like they've only got two other police officers in the in the town. And that was a good size parade. So I want people I, I'm calling my people in. Hey, this is all you you're the only help I've got here. You gotta show up. Is this why you're in politics? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's not a job, it's an adventure. Many are called <laughs> few answer few answer <laughs> and then we get a, a nice switch to the mayor's daughter and, and the mayor oh that one you remember not no, not Sheriff it's Cooper and it's McGee <laughs> yeah she's going to uh, the caroling for the Santas and I've right, never right seen yeah I've never seen a whole bunch of porn stars do caroling on the square Bentonville, Arkansas. If you want to do Caroline on the Square, <laughs> just date and time, please. Um, 
<laughs> and then we also have the introduction of probably one of the creepiest priests of all time. Oof. That because they played it straight, and it just got weirder and weirder the more he talked when she went to church. Oh, if there's anything I can do for you, Aubrey. Oh, Aubrey. If there's anything I can do, just. Uh, any town with a priest like this, uh, surely they would have run him out. Well, no, he's into women. He's fine. Uh, yeah, that's a pass. They're just on, like... He's on his way out. There's only one old lady in the congregation. Well, that's, to judge that's by true. the size of that room in his parish, it didn't look like a big operation. <laughs> if they're not diddling boys, they're good to go. Oh, no, he was stealing all the money out of the collection. That's true. Again, if they're not diddling boys... Everybody back in the Vatican's like, nah, let him go. He's he's good. He's good. Not a real priest. That, that priest is one where I like. Oh man, I hope that actor doesn't actually like have a, like a family or anything. <laughs> because if they saw that, I I would look. I Mama, what's Daddy well, talking about? You're too good at this. This is not working. Also, he had a it's lot good. of like Baptist preacher in him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he did the whole Jesus. Yeah. And then yeah. he got angry and was yelling at the the. Two parishioners that were in the church at the end, or the middle, <laughs> his end. Well, yeah. Sam was one of them. He's under the bed. He's got to be there by default. Anyways. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's not skip. Well, next we'll... is next is the fourteen year old girl yep. that Sally talked about, and we all know Veronica, um, fucking Willy Wonka. What's her name? Uh, Salt. Oh. Veruca Salt. 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 Yeah, Veruca. <laughs> Veronica. Whatever. Veruca. Veruca. Yeah. That, that was, that was my first well. thought, was was it was one of those. It's, I, I need to take my heart medication. Shut up, mom! Let's go to the mall! Yeah. I don't want to take my heart the pills out. Slap the pills out. Slap her heart pills. Okay, no, she's, she's on opioids, and the daughter's like tired of it. Nope. <laughs> No. She's taking heart medication. Bitch, take me to get that Louis Vuitton. These My are to LV. live. Yeah, <laughs> yeah LV, everybody was like, what the fuck's LV? Cameron's like, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably not a good thing. I'm like, oh, it's Louis Vuitton, obviously. <laughs> you simpletons. <laughs> what do you think his wife ended up with her LV? <laughs> oh, well, Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a really short introduction of the daughter. We immediately hated her. And I think most of us, I mean... In horror, movie, in horror movie That's terms, movie. we're like, okay, yeah, kill her. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's the Saul premise. It's If they're a shitty person, you're like, yeah, all right. Yeah, we ripped That's the fine. band-aid so, so quick on that one, it barely registered. And also, I mean, you, this is the first, what, five minutes of the movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's bitching to her mom, and she goes, the doorbell rings, she opens the door, it's... She immediately starts... Crazy Santa, Santa Claus, decision. and she's like, she's what do you got? Me. What do you got for me? What'd you bring me? What and he hits Salvation her with the... Here. Yeah. Hits her with the cattle prod for a long time and then shoves a fire poker through her oh, eye or chest is, or something. Is there a seven deadly sins yes, theme? Sure. Because, I mean, like the first one was adultery and the second one was greed. Oh, we might have to look at that. Ooh, look at you getting shame. deep over here. Just saying. We might, we might have to. Fucking Morgan Freeman over here. We might have to take, take a look at that. So do we need justification for this one or no? You guys good? Well, let's keep no, going we through the murders. <laughs> I think we're all okay murders, I'll see if I can assign a sin to it. And I also uh, took notes of all the ways that everyone died, just so we could be sure that we... we I think I got most of them, too. Yeah, we, we are on top of it. I think from there is when we have our protagonist, Officer Aubrey. Go ahead. Without your finger, if I was missing something. Uh, Maybe. Depends on what you're getting ready to say. Goes... To because she gets called to the Santa yep. on the pier, or whatever that was. Yeah. I, for some reason, I thought it was a pier. It's probably not, because they were like in Wisconsin, the, uh, because that doesn't make any sense. Like the town square gazebo. <laughs> and uh, they're like, oh, the Santa's uh, touching... He's making little kids cry. Making little kids cry, that's what it is, yeah. No, James was the one that assumed the Santa was touching small children. I, I don't I, think he was wrong. I, well, I would have assumed that, yes, because that's what we expect. I don't know. Seems like a common thing. Uh, but no, this was just like a George Listen Carlin to Santa. Listen to that person. Just hurting their yeah. feelings. Just a garbage person. Yeah, mm-hmm. basically. Which Donald Lo- I mean, he fucking nailed it, too. Nailed it. it was uh, it was so good. Yeah. 
that was the only person that acted all of his lines as hard as he could. <laughs> he had a monologue and he just went after it. Crushed it. Everyone else was yeah. like, I've got lines. Hey, guy. I'll, I'll, I'll hurt you. He, he was in it the whole time. And his whole, uh, hey, kids, never trust your parents. Like, shit like that that he was saying to them as she was walking up was phenomenal. I don't, and in the whole time that we heard him rant, I'm not sure he said anything that wasn't true. He even called out the urban legend first. Yeah. He was the voice of reason. Yeah. Which is weird because his name was Jim Epstein. <laughs> the only time I've ever heard Santa reference snitches get stitches. They don't use, they don't use those names anymore. Yeah, this uh, that's how you can tell. This is a little bit older film. Pre-Epstein? Pre, Pre-Island scandal? Yeah. Uh, probably during. 2000, well, I mean, pre coming out of the island. Oh, right. Yeah, probably, yeah, when. Man, I might have to cut that too. Um, <laughs> and he talks about uh, where did old Mr. McKenzie come in? That was, uh, I don't know, I wrote it down, but now I can't remember what it's from. Mr. McKenzie, that's the guy who was reporting his wife missing. All right. And upset when uh, the wife has already could, been. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Decapitated and yeah, yeah that sounds. Can right. I just go home? Had to see a man about a wallaby. He went out that Maybe. door, yeah, not that door. Unless he's taking a dump downstairs. Actually, I told him to shit downstairs, so that might make sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, yeah, he checks out. He already blew yeah. up one bathroom today. He's uh, he's just a crusher. Of, home after he's a crusher of dreams. <laughs> you just uh, you can smell him coming. So at, like after that <laughs> scene, I'm talking to what we're presuming is the adulterer's husband. Right. And that's when, like, he's dealing with that, and that's when uh, Bartimore gets sent to the uh, trap house. Which is where we find the... Deputy Jordan. And the hand with the cell phone in it, in the drawer. And then we find the chopped up... Then we find the rest of her. Little bits of her. Yeah, man, he took his time. Of of that cheating hooer. Because he put them in different places, he was he was having a he was having a fun time with it. You could tell this Santa enjoyed the job he decided to make his. This is not his first rodeo. He loves Christmas. He <laughs> likes to slap people in their Christmas jams. And uh, <laughs> super hard, so super hard. <laughs> uh, so from there we get cut to the. I think this is when we go to the. Uh, I don't know hotel. Of, Apartment, hotel. wherever the, the hotel. There you okay, go. By the hour. Hotel. Yeah, hotel, hotel, everybody, even which, the mayor. Uh, fairly so largely, did. A lot of people were living there. In that kind of town. Well, you can pay by the hour, the night, the week. Because that's when the, the mayor's daughter comes in and she gets her package and does a, a line of blow and thanks the quote unquote photographer and leaves. And so during all this, you have the other woman that's up there and he's saying things like, oh yeah, that's it. Go, go. The worst photographer I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And then she gets her tits out, which obviously it's a slasher. You got to have at least one set of tits. And he, Santa comes in with his, it looked like a homemade like scythe. Yeah. She, yeah. He passes uh, the mayor's daughter on the way down. Tiffany. Tiffany. She gets, Thank you for keeping at some point. <laughs> she, she, gets sa- <laughs> yeah. she gets sassy with him. Yeah, yeah. She has that moment with him, mm-hmm. which no matter can. And he, he knocks on the door and runs the uh, film session where he's taking pictures of uh, his, his fine young lady's titties. And he goes and answers well, the door. This woman and the whole thing. The yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. And she's like trying to get his attention. Hey, hey, there's somebody here. Oh, and, I forgot about the bigger. Yeah, because yeah, she puts the camera down. And well, that's where you have the. Uh, and then she gets it right in the gut from the scythe. Mm-hmm. And then he moves in and gives old uh, Frank's Franks a little bit of action. For, you know what? For a second with the videographer, I thought we were going. Oh, how, just a little rip yeah. right up, right up the old gut there. Yep. Yeah. Well, it would have been, uh, yeah, it would have been tank to tip this time. Last time it was yeah. tip to tank. Yeah. Touche. And, and I would still be having the same criticism. So, 
How, I mean, it's it's, it's not. It's, it's just not. It's not gonna. It's happen. that difficult. It's Christmas magic unless games. unless their ribs are like Matt Houston's and they're made of glass. So. <laughs> 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 What kill is this going to match up with? The uh, hotel kill in seven. Uh, this is would be lust. Yeah, it'd be lust. Is, lust. is lust? I'm gonna. Lust. I need a. Yeah, I, I need a reference. I, I, I need to write this I, down. I don't know. You, I think you are on to something. So the first one is uh, uh, adultery. Adultery, which the, the first one there which was isn't really a. I mean, that's that's like adultery's not. Yeah, adultery, adultery and lust would be the same thing. Yeah, adultery is not uh, one of the seven sins. Ryan just killed it. We don't have a meter. Well, mm. it is a ten. Is it's one of the ten commandments. Well, which one is it, James? Well, we have to figure it out. It's an adventure. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll just feel around. We don't have a meter. See what makes sense. No. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. It depends on what avocado you put on your burger, and you don't want to add hummus to it because no. we've been told. You know, so it's you know, so sometimes when you're doing crossword wordle, sometimes there's a double letter. You're not expecting it. Just, they throw it at you. Maybe they use two sins back to back, and it was just uh, to distract us. If you're listening to this in the future, there is a website you can go to, and it's called Wordle, and you can play a game where you try and guess the word, kind of like uh, Wheel of Fortune. Where there's yeah. no Wordle. <laughs> I don't want to live in that oh, world. I, I can't wait for that world. <laughs> that, that world existed like six months ago. Yeah, I, I've moved on from that uh, world. I'm wordled out. I never even played it. I'm just tired of you guys talking about it. It's like everybody that does CrossFit. Like, all right, we get it. Taylor, what do you think? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Still shitting. All right, so he, <laughs> he shoves his scythe into Frank's Frank and... Chases, um, did we ever get a name on the uh, the model? It's Maggie. All right, that'll uh, work. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's the name. So, so Maggie <laughs> runs <laughs> to the bathroom, does a decent job. She runs in there, she locks the door, she gets in the bathtub, she's hiding, and of course he has his Santa strength, smashes the door in, and he's he puts the um, shower curtain around her head and is strangling her, and then old Frank... That rest his soul, yeah, shoots right through the wall, and I like that shot of like all the the uh, powder from the drywall like shooting over the Santa Claus, and he just goes, "What the fuck?" and kind of turns like he's really surprised. Given the comment just prior, I assume that was cocaine. Is the revenge of Frank's Mm. beans? That's (laughs) Frank's beans rise again, Mm -hmm. Uh, and then he goes back and obviously has to finish Frank off while uh, Maggie. (laughs) <laughs> jumps out the window. Well, uh, when she first went into the bathroom, it's like, why aren't you trying to check the window right now? Why? Well, and then finally she did. Which she I expected did. a Game of Thrones moment where he pushed her out, but she kind of slipped out on her own. And, and then I you had she break a leg. And I, I like I like the fall where it's just like it, this is the 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 tit it's scene that they have. So the, uh, Sigourney Weaver, she's, Alien yeah, three. she's falling backwards, shot. and the the shot is on her. It's face facing her as she falls, and her tits are just kind of like rolling around, and she falls into the dumpster on the trash, and then she starts limping to the uh, Christmas tree farm, which, I mean, if we're going to keep it on point, straight into a Christmas tree farm, because that's what's next to a, a hotel. And we know it's a cold day. Let me, the, <laughs> I'm working up to something here. I mean, uh, it was you, a very cold day. Cause you're, you're definitely onto De- something. Debbie Brademore is wearing like the, the Cousin Eddie hat. Yeah. You know, her... Breath, everybody's breath is just steaming. And now, here we have Maggie running down the, the, the road, tits out. In and, cotton panties. And there were no diamonds in an ice storm. Not, not, not a one to be not seen. Even, not, even no, a, a, no, a, not even a slicer. I don't know what the temperature outside was. It was not the one they made us think it was. Well, sometimes surgery affects things. Um, <laughs> could be on to it. I, I would not know about that. And so then the same level of hardness all the time. I'm pretty sure uh, Cameron called first the wood chipper. Yeah. Which, of course, it's going to be the wood chipper. Yeah. Of course. Steve Buscemi would be proud. Well, it was a Christmas movie, and now we're here in a Christmas tree. What do we call that? Christmas farm, tree farm. farm. Christmas yeah. tree farm, yeah. And they have the chipper. I guess that's the fate of Christmas trees that don't get bought. 
chipper? Yeah. That, that was my question. I don't think there's lots of chippers yeah. hanging around in the middle of a Christmas tree farm. And there were a lot of Christmas trees not, left for it being Christmas season. Eve. Like, wasn't it Christmas Eve? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was one yep. for every citizen in that town. <laughs> and there were just enough. Which All tells you their Christmas was... spirit, which also might foreshadow ah. the naughtiness of these people. You got a Grinch town here. You got an opposite of Whoville. You got a Hemville or Herville. <laughs> there were just enough Christmas trees left in the Christmas tree farm to make sure you couldn't see... A killer coming. And I like that he chopped her leg off and threw that in first just to make sure, like, oh, yeah, this is going to work fine. Well, it was like a th- he threw the axe and chopped her leg off, right? It was a thrown axe. Yeah, he gave her a full-on uh, last action hero. And right. then, then she couldn't run away, but she also didn't pass out for blood loss. Rob, how have you not talked about the pursuit scene here? The, uh, I was, I this was, is one of your favorite parts of the whole movie. Her running around the hotel... Before she got to the Christmas tree farm, I laughed. And everyone else here, this I think, coffee. was like, what the fuck's wrong with Rob right now? <laughs> I was laughing so hard because it looks like a child skipping, but also holding a double-headed axe. <laughs> <laughs> and picture, picture this. It's the shot, and it's just like from chest down to the knees, and the huge axe out to the right, and he's just... Dum dum a dum 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 a dum 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 a dum 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 a dum. That's what it was in my head, and it was glorious. There were Christmas yeah. songs playing in the background almost the whole time. But I think the entire movie. You, you, some of them you just didn't really recognize. They played Silent Night in like every format: words, bells, soft, instrumental, wood blocks. <laughs> now we can fast forward to that actual. Movie. So, yes, okay, so yeah, I wanted to point that out because that was a big fun part. I, of I, oh man, I was laughing was fun so hard hearing you just die laughing. Just oh my god, that that chase was killing me. And then we all talked about how once Santa grabbed her, threw her over his shoulder, and decided to put her in the wood chipper, she went foot first. That's not the way you want to go. No, uh, foot there was singular, so great job. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not, a, not feet first. I, I, continuity is my thing. And uh, I love the shot when she went all the way down because she was like holding on to the sides and screaming. And then once she went in, it was just the Santa's face looking down and blood sprayed all over him. And the rest of the movie, his beard was like covered in blood. Was it? Yeah. Like one side of it was like yeah, blood soaked yep. since that. I thought and he was into the Costco actually. <laughs> he was just at, he had some spray. He yeah. just wanted her to feel all the little emotions that go along with <laughs> those, sliding through a wood chipper. Those little yeah. bits. Yeah. Uh, halfway through the chipper, you don't say, please let me go. Uh, please let me go. Yeah, because that's the wrong message. Yeah, you and, say, please push me in. And actually, yeah, yeah at that point, so just finish yeah, just it. Finish just it. Just let, me, it in. let me go. I'm, I'm that, or if you're professional, you grab the motherfucker. Pull him in with you. Which... Again, I said this when we were watching it, it reminded me of Deadpool 2 when uh, the guy gets pulled in there and Bob's trying to save him and gets spit all over. Yeah. Oh, there was almost on the burp, but I saved it. But that was corrected on the time. It was. It, it did it, it is, It's no longer a thing. So where do we go from there? We got, uh, oh, this is where we go back to the church. Is there anything between this and then? Uh, I'm, the next one I've got is the they go to the church and they shoot back to the church and it's the old lady, and Santa's walking in. Yeah, he strolls in mid sermon. With, with his, sermon. with his. Still, still hasn't cleaned up. Oh no, he's bloody as shit. Yep. And then you have this crazy priest preacher screaming at this old lady, like after he's uh, stolen everything. And he out stole of the, the money out of the collection plate. Yeah, good, good call. Which there was a lot of money in there for one old lady being there. Definitely four bills. You're right. Yeah. Um, don't know that her social security check was covering that. I think she was one of those uh, McScrooge types. She was just trying to get to heaven because she knows she's gonna die soon. That metaphor <laughs> might not work. I don't know if that's correct. Not today, so. What's the who's uh, in uh, in? Gremlins? Oh shit, Taylor's back. Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> in Gremlins, who's the uh, who's who's the woman at the bank who wants to kill? Uh, Danny Peltzer's dog. Oh, you're talking about the old lady that has the uh, yeah. automatic chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, that's that's her. That's who she is in this movie. 
No, it wasn't. She's a nasty old bitch. This this was a nice lady on church, and he's like, we don't have as many parishioners as we used to, because it's fucking one. She just looks nice. And well, he's yelling at her, and why the preacher's yelling at her about, Jesus! And the dark side of Christmas. She's just taking it like a champ, and he turns over and goes to Santa and starts yelling at him, and he pulls out, which we all noticed, a very clearly handmade knife. <laughs> cuts off most of his fingers. Yeah. And then prison shanks the shit out of him like 19 times, takes the money out of his pocket, and gives it to the old lady. Santa's a good guy. Do we need justification on this kill? Yeah, <laughs> this is your job. You're, is this? I'm asking you. Like, are, are you okay with, with this kill of the priest or of the uh, porno people? As, as a uh, reformed Catholic, no. Not okay. No, I'm fine with it. Okay. <laughs> I don't need just. So we'll have a job. Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and from here we go to, we meet Carson at the bar, I think. Is there anything I'm missing between those two? No, I think that's right. Because this is where, this is, <laughs> you're, <laughs> what you're hearing is them anything. laughing at me because I have a uh, massive notebook that I take notes on every movie and I really hope to pass this down to my children. And we appreciate you for, or else there would be no podcast. There's not I couldn't good. take you from there's not even any notes on it they just drew a bunch of really fucked up drawings <laughs> it's weird because most of these are dicks <laughs> <laughs> yeah. vainier like the seven, better some person the kids have it <laughs> uh, so, so uh, officer Audrey goes to the uh, the bar uh, is she looking for him is she looking for Carson or is she just going because there's Santa's there I don't remember that part. She had to be looking for him specifically. They but were, I don't remember how. Because they had a, they had his the they, phone number, right? Take us there, right? So they they had had a conversation. They had had a conversation at the bug. police station. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you. Um, but they were like they were talking through who in town that they knew plays Santa and had like a shitty year or whatever. Well, they were and talking his, about they had the, the coke and they knew about the coke deals from the the porno ho theater. Ho, ho theater, ho, yeah, hotel. They, as you recall, she didn't stop recording. She just set the camera down on the thing, and so she's a professional. You know, the sheriff and company decided to watch some softcore porn multiple times. Note, I note think the uh, mayor's daughter Tiff. Nice. Yeah. In there. Yep. True. Um, towards the end of that video, we get one of the greatest uh, lean-ins. Wanna, yeah. There we go. Your pauses are Santa killing me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. I gotta, I, edit, I gotta edit all this shit out. I just don't want you to be bored editing. <laughs> Thank you for giving me more work. I appreciate it. <laughs> Help me with you, Rob. Yeah, it's that the, everything's gone. You like you see the end of the murders we just talked about at the hotel, and then as they're watching the the video, you have that lean in where the Santa Claus just leans right into frame at a 45 degree angle and looks at the camera and then turns it off. A cool yeah. moment. So, yeah. but they're, like they're watching that video, they're talking about everything. Hear him reference Mr. Snow. And they're like, right. wait a minute. Uh, That's what I'm a blow from. Yeah. Mr. Carson lost his job at the mill. Is That was, <laughs> that was me. Sorry. I, I don't know that. who that is. But I'm jerking my jig. <laughs> You know, with two S's, Carson. Yeah, Carson with two S's. But, you know, oh, he's been living at the motel where they're filming softcore porn, and, you know, she just goes off her... Uh, intuition. Yeah, her her sheriff intuition and what was passed down from her dad from Killing well, Towns Folk. And uh, I think it's... Finds him at the bar. That's where we get the flashback, right? The Or yeah. the legend... To be sure, all of her instincts were correct. And even when she point out factual things like Carson has two S's, you know, the sheriff was like, not having it. Yeah. <laughs> Irrelevant. Yeah. So that, that's when she's sitting in the car going through all the paperwork, trying to figure out where he might be and sees him maybe go into the bar. Yeah. While she's talking to her potential ex-husband. Yeah. Whoever the fuck that guy was. Yeah. Well, everybody called him John. And when he knocked on the window and she rolled the window down, she's like, Oh my God, John, and had this look of, damn it, why do I have to see him today? Of all days. I'm really glad that they chased that backstory down in this film. 
we have no idea who this guy is. Maybe it was John. Maybe John's dead. Maybe this is Johnny's brother, and she just calls him John. Yeah, it could be a different twins. John. And it could be a coincidence. Well, wasn't it the guy? It's that, a theory. That, you know? that was the guy that showed back up uh, with the erection. <laughs> Excuse me. What the fuck? Are you what? About? <laughs> the, guy the, 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 guy, the guy that knocked on the window. He was in the Santa suit, and we oh. saw him again later. Oh, in the car when he knocked on the car. No, that was Giles. That was uh, Deputy Giles. Well, well John is the one that knocked on the car door and she rolled it down. She's like, oh, John. <coughs> or maybe he came up to the car window. Yeah. Well, the young guy in the Santa suit. He yeah. showed up before the party. Yes. That's John. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which I have a theory I don't believe. Maybe he's a John. And I'm pretty sure that that was the ghost of her husband. So we're back at the bar. Jesus. And <laughs> she's, talking, she's talking to Carson. And he gives the backstory about the Santa that went... Uh, looking for his cheating wife and the adulterer at the, was it like a political party? Christmas party. It was, it was a Christmas party, but it was on, like, was it like at Town Hall or something like that? Cause it, like, yeah. it seemed like it was. It was, yes. yeah. And also decided to bring a flamethrower. And he also had a very stylish mustache. Mustache. A mustache. And burned people. This is building the lore of this killer. Right. It's just an urban legend. Yes. Right. But that's up. exactly the whole. Yeah. We're trying to. We're trying to make a circle here, and it's getting sloppy. And you know, it seemed like he only burned two people. Though I mean, he kept to his. He had principles that that flamethrower Santa. He wait. He definitely waited to the end to bring it out. Yeah. I mean, you got to be careful with one of those because if you got a gun, that shit's gonna blow up on you. Well, no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about in the flashback. The flashback Santa. The first flamethrower Santa. He seemed to only be interested in burning his cheating whore wife and her uh, her male um, steed stud. I don't know. He was going pretty heavy, hot well, and heavy with that thing. Yeah, but well, we didn't see it. Watch. That's right. Well, you gotta teach kids. You, you gotta pull on the caps. He, he drove there with his kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Teach him early. Look, I mean, listen. Once you start a flamethrower burst, you don't stop until it's empty. And most of the time, it's exquisite. <laughs> sounds like you're speaking from experience I don't know what you mean and <laughs> and this is also when she realizes that Carson is Mr. Snow Stay right? Is? yeah because she calls uh, she, she calls, calls the phone the number they got from one of the phones in the who room. told you about me and then he runs off yeah he flipped out on that one he, he has well, no idea who's calling him but he immediately just uh, assumed it was the cop and, and went to cut well, her throat. Well, I, well, I thought they, at the they, point where he admitted to basically be a Mr. Snow, uh, that that he would like skip town and we'd never see him again. But well, that didn't happen. Yeah. Well, well I mean, she calls him in his when phone you're a successful rings, drug dealer. And they both, you know, they both do the, Living in the motel. lock eyes. And they realize that one of them's calling the other, like she's calling him, and that it's the cop that's calling him on his, uh, I, okay, I want to. I want to see a real life remake of that scene where she calls and he's like, "Hold on a second, yo, what's up, man? I got you. Who's this?" <laughs> and then she just shoots him, and that's the end of the movie. But yeah, he, you know, she calls him out on it, and he bolts out of the bar well, but Mr. and hides behind the dumpster. And then she gets out there, he gives her a whole right hook, knocks her out, and well, Mr. Snow seemed to know. All of her weaknesses, all of her backstory that we still don't know. Mr. Snow was in the know. Yeah, I mean he uh, he put her on the pavement in the alley. That was the first time that I mean, he got past. Well, her. she weighed ninety two pounds. Well, let's be honest, she was not a spectacular officer of the law. Um, <laughs> I mean, but she could. But we, the we was saw very her, clear about that. <laughs> we saw her use her pepper spray at least once. You know, she's got she's got multiple weapons in the that are rain. disposable. Disposal. That was so, the worst cop. Yeah, she choked. I mean, she definitely choked on Mr. Snow. Oh, man. I've got so many <laughs> responses to that. I'm going to skip all of them. <laughs> I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. And she gets her, she gets her knocked her, Jesus. She gets her ass knocked out. And this is one of those moments where uh, the, the sheriff comes in, uh, McDowell comes in, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I fucked up. He got away. And he's like, Well, it's okay. We've got a set now. Like, we've, he can't get away from me. And 
then he just stands there. Like, the guy just ran down the alley, and he's like, well, we'll get him in a minute. And then goes back to his car and drives away. I believe he looks up and trail. checks the rooftops in that scene. <laughs> Let's see, where's he at? He was just chewing on that shit. Uh, yeah. Every time he had a chance to do something, he just dropped a one-liner or a two-liner and, and walked away from it. He never actually did a Exit damn stage thing. Exit right. It yeah, was a comedy. It was fantastic. Comedy. He, uh, man, yeah. Between him and uh, Dollars, they made this movie for me. <laughs> and, of course, the murders. So I think right then is where they go back to the police department and they have that that conversation about burgers, which, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Great. Uh, tapping is that uh, millennial angst, uh, avocado toast, etc. I take offense to that. <laughs> As you should. You forget how young he is again. Avocado toast is delicious. If you don't know, Cameron is a, a is. 16 year old. <laughs> <laughs> His parents do not like him being here. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure Red Robin has a burger with avocado on it. So. His dad is very nervous. But no house. <laughs> the, the whole, like, she talks about the premise of we're chasing the wrong guy. Well, don't try and put avocado on a burger. Keep it simple. And then she says something else, and he goes, well, now you're trying to add a hummus. It's like, get away from the fucking burger <laughs> analogy. What is happening? That's crazy, because Red Robin actually has a burger called Keep It Simple. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And they have the avocado burger. Now I gotta go see if they got hummus on a burger. What your Red Robin spokesperson? Red Robin. Yum. Oh, man. <laughs> and now it has ranch. <laughs> Red Robin, we expect money. He also says, uh, this is another one of the lines where he's talking about the, because he still thinks it's uh, the uh, Epstein. He might he might be onto something there. Epstein! Well, <laughs> and he talks about, you know, back in the day, we were uh, hunters and ga- hunters or gatherers, and we would uh, hunt dinosaurs and polar bears. <laughs> yeah, he is just. And everyone else is just like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? You know they wrote this on like an insane drunken stint, oh, and man. they're like, "Well, Malcolm, we'll we'll fix it. Like we'll get you stuff, different lines." He's like, "Nah, these are the lines I'm reading. <laughs> this is no, I'm, I'm sure he knew 100 percent what the script was. This is why I signed off for this movie. <laughs> Everything about his character is just so ironic that it's funny. You know, it, I don't completely understand. Completely ineffectual through the whole thing. Drops these great lines. There, there's no way he didn't know this was the part he was in. It was arguably one of the best parts in the movie. And he's known for doing that role of being the the, the straight man and the uh, aggressive, overly aggressive person. So the fact that they just let him do his shtick is so is so fun to me as a, as a Malcolm McDowell fan. I love Malcolm McDowell. Nobody, if, you, if I haven't said that 14 times tonight. <laughs> But you're right. I mean, we talk about Tom Savini a little bit, and <laughs> the fact they just let him do it was awesome. The absurd thing yeah. in character also is that nobody called him on it. I mean, no, not a single person of these. That's, even the people that were bad were still people. Not a, nobody said anything to this sheriff about <laughs> like what. That's the most realistic part of the movie. You don't you don't call your boss out. <laughs> let them rain, rain. They want to cut themselves. Let them cut themselves. Yeah. Also, I feel like uh, this was shot mostly in sequence because the longer the movie went on, the less he had an American accent. <laughs> like the British kept coming out more and more as the movie went on, and at the end, when he was like, uh, "You brought a flamethrower to a gunfight," I mean, he was just full on James Bond <laughs> British. It's like he's just given up at this point. It's like it's been fourteen days in Wisconsin, and I still don't know how you get. It. You get the draw on between a, a flamethrower and a pistol. The guy with the flamethrower won the draw. Well, that's because yeah. he had to throw his one liner out there before he pulled the trigger. Got to monologue. Got to got to have the last word. What do they always say? You spend too much damn time talking. Got the sheriff monologuing. That was his end. Which is usually the bad guy's line. Yeah, if you're gonna lose, you're gonna monologue or you're wearing a cape. Which, hey, I'll tell you what, in between those two... I keep forgetting you're here, shit. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like Sheriff's probably the bad guy. 
Which, he did come off as the bad guy. When I think about that, it's the bad guy thing to do. Yeah. Where he's monologuing about killing the bad guy. Yeah, it's like the anti-villain. We skipped some stuff. Anti-anti? Anti-villain. Anti, 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 you got me again, anti. All right, Ryan. We skipped four solid kills here. Yeah, get us. Well, uh, three, oh, which, no, yeah, yeah. Santa Claus. It's because he went McDowell. You're right, you're right. Then we had the session, and then we just went straight into. Yeah, we so, missed the we missed the mayor's party. Yeah, so we we just even, left. We, even, we just left Cameron the has done nothing but pass the buck. You know what, Cameron? <laughs> I can't. Let's I let's can't. let's talk about the mayor's phone call. You tell us about the mayor's phone call. You remember that at least? Yes, the mayor's phone call with sheriff. Right, so sheriff is just now leaving this alley. Is that what happened? Like, everyone, keep me honest here. Right after, yeah, yeah, right after, after, no one to help him. <laughs> I mean, he's in his car, right? Like right after, he's driving. He's driving back. Yeah, yes. yeah. Calls the mayor, says Merry Christmas, all the pleasantries, whatever. Uh, mayor's outside, hitting the hoon, um, a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> daughter comes out, ask him, Daddy. I, I asked you to stop smoking. Well, it'll be my New Year's resolution, honey. Go back inside. Shut up. Uh, has a, you know, goes back to call with the uh, sheriff here. Um, all while the, um, the Santa, who is nameless at this point, right, uh, shows up, turns off. Right before that, I'm going to let you keep going. But we also have Tiffany and uh, oh, Crazy Gary Busey's. Uh, other le- legitimate son come through and say, yeah, see, we're going to go check out the guest house. This is why I don't do these things. Right? All right, conti- I miss very important news. Continue. You're doing great. Yes. So they are there. We're going to get you. The, we're going to make you one of these. Us. One of. Checking one out the guest us. house. Daddy definitely knows what's going on. He literally says, hey, just make it quick. Okay. <laughs> like, we, we, we got stuff to do. We got people to schmooze here. Father of the year. Quick. Yeah. Trying. Uh, goes back to smoking. Then the call happens. Right from the sheriff, pleasantries happen. Uh, Santa appears, the Christmas lights shut off all of a sudden, um, and the mayor starts to try and fix the lights by doing the old twist uh, of, of one light bulb, hoping that they would, they would pop back on. Um, and he gets strangled by a strand of Christmas lights, all while the sheriff is. Chit chatting it up with Mr. Mayor, who quite clearly cannot talk. I love uh, that's a, a, I love that you caught that. I love that he when the lights went out, he's like, oh well, I guess I'll just twist these bulbs and see which yeah, one Christmas went out. Lights. It's the thing everyone, if you're over fifteen, you know that you can just go twist the bulb a little bit, and sometimes it comes back on. And he's standing there just fucking with it. And then immediately the lights go over his neck and he gets grabbed. All while, you know what's perfect kind of poetic justice here is going back to the very first scene where we see the mayor. He's setting up these damn Christmas lights. Uh, yep, exactly. And he's, and he's telling uh, whatever our, our Aubrey. protagonist, yeah, uh, Officer Aubrey, that he that he hates setting this stuff up. Yeah. So many damn lights. Is, the lights go down. He's like, damn it, here we are. <laughs> I, I got to fix these lights. It took me forever to set up. And then he literally dies by them, which is even better. That was, that I was, just want to say those lights were not twinkling. Thanks for noticing. That was the that was the <laughs> first scene where I started thinking, hey, maybe this murderous Santa, maybe he's not such a good guy after all. <laughs> because I'll tell you what, that mayor, he was putting up his own Christmas lights. He was nice to his he was, daughter that he, was the good one. Nice to his he was nice to his daughter that was a piece of shit. No, he was, well, he said he said you're the good one. Yeah, well, to his he, little. He didn't say that to his daughter's face. He was still trying to like. Which we all know they're good when they're little, and then they start fucking. Yeah, you know he was. He was That's trying, gonna be trouble later when my kids listen to the right this. Thing. So what is his sin that he gets murdered for? He sneaked a cigarette. Let that man get a fucking cigarette on the holidays. He's he's worked so hard to try and pull this Christmas together, try to pull this town together, and he gets killed. Busted Are you bullshit. running for mayor right now? Bullshit. <laughs> I'm guessing the mayor knows more about the Brad Moore. That's what I was going to say. I bet he helped cover some shit up. Yeah, he's corrupt. Yeah. He's corrupt. Uh, hey, I'm open to it, but you know what? I didn't see any of that in the fucking movie. 
You gotta show me, bitch. You, you say you're open to corruption. He did say he was open no, to corruption. I'm, open, I'm, open. I'm, I'm open. gonna save this one, right? I'm open to the mayor <laughs> being a bad guy, but I don't see it. I don't see it. I saw that crown. <laughs> So now I have to delete that because I can't yeah. fucking do politics. <laughs> Good let, joke, though. You let that Asian chick live in the town? <laughs> <laughs> he was a prince. He's a lovely guy. Jesus. No black guys, though. He was. He did not enjoy the black black community uh, because there was not a single black person in this movie. That's true. Who saw that? Ryan? Was that yeah, uh, one of you guys? Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Wisconsin? Not- to be fair, if you're black in Wisconsin, you're getting out of Wisconsin. Hey, in retrospect, he probably saved those uh, black people's lives to try to move into town and ran them off. Hey, look, there's going to be a killer here in a few years, and y'all aren't going to do. He's like, there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, Get out of here! Yeah. And they're like, all right. And Get then they read here. like three weeks later, like the whole town got murdered. And they're like, well, thank God for that mayor. That's right. Trying to put a positive spin on racism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, is okay, definitely so. the hardest possible spin you can put on racism. <laughs> 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 we like the black community. Well, uh, so now we're getting to my most fun <laughs> murder. <laughs> Back in the guest house. Yes. Tiffany. Daddy dies. Daddy Mayor dies. Take it, James. Young, young, yeah. <laughs> young, young Peter Pettigrew. No. <laughs> young no. Peter Pettigrew. No, I don't want to be in that house. Um, <sighs> but that, meanwhile, in the guest house, somebody was taking it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Young Peter Pettigrew was getting the blowy. Tiffany and that random dude in the Santa outfit. Yeah. That Gary Busey Jr. Jr. Catatonic grandfather. Oh, yeah, he did yeah, steal a bunch of shit story. from that, didn't he? Yeah. I forgot he was just such a piece of shit, other than the fact that he was a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, he looked like a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I, I just love it. In so many horror movies, there's the, the, the standard. Like, if, you're, if somebody goes off to have sex, they're getting murdered. And... <laughs> This movie did not disappoint on that. They led us straight down the garden path on on this one. Except nobody actually had sex. Well, you know, well. Which okay. Yeah, okay, uh, so you yeah, don't, he had his boner. Yeah, out. So you don't think oral sex is sex? He had his boner out. Got she it. was going to. to I want to. I want to address. I want to address seconds. that. I want to address that section because yes. section. Yeah, I'll allow. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> so the, you you go Time's into with. the <laughs> you go into the guest house right and. They're making out and whatever, and she starts going down on him. And she comes up and she goes, I've got a surprise for you, and walks away. <laughs> what the fuck? The surprise is the blowjob. Like, finish what you're doing and then go get me my Christmas treat or whatever. And she leaves. The, the kid dies with blue balls. I mean, that sad bastard. Yeah, her surprise was, here's my sexy Santa lingerie. Yeah, that was her she, surprise. Yeah, she's Great just, surprise. Just finish. Yeah, all, 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 he wanted, all he wanted her to do was finish. Don't we all? They, well, they bleed out faster, though. I'll tell you that well, yeah, because the blood's <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah. Once the blood's up, uh, yeah, you're done. Pay homage to our, our boy who got slashed by Art the Clown. Well, uh, yeah, very well, true. I loved her. She, story. I, I loved how she went to the bed <laughs> to get her, her sexy, sexy Santa lingerie, and then she's like getting scared by somebody in the bathroom. And then all of a sudden the boyfriend appears from a different door. Pops out of the closet. <laughs> no, not the closet. Yep, that was <laughs> one of the closet. Classic. Okay. And then she's like, how did you get from there to there? And she's totally right and she's totally freaked out. And he and boyfriend in the meantime is like, what? Huh? I'm actually surprised that what? she realized that he came from a different room because she was not primed as a smart character. Well, I mean, she was literally staring at the bathroom door as it was opening. He jumps out of the closet. And that's another one of those. And obviously, this is a slasher horror film. The door opens a little bit. And then when you turn back, the door's all the way open against the wall. Yep, red flag. And uh, my mind automatically was like, oh, he's behind the fucking door, obviously. And when they go over to it, he goes, I'll check it out. And goes out the door and immediately slams shut and... Super fucking Santa rips the goddamn handle off the door, which wouldn't do anything. He could still open the fucking door. <laughs> door handles would, don't work uh, that way. That would arguably make it easier to open. Yeah. Yes. That's how that works. Rob, you just talked about him sneaking out of the bathroom behind the door real quick. He's a sneaky snake. I know. Like, we don't need to put it all. He's a slippery snake. I, 
he, he's, there like, was, he's like a goddamn ninja because, I mean, he's, how he's can you hide crazy. yourself in a Santa outfit? It's red and white, and you've got a creepy mask on with a beard. Somehow he's stealthily hiding behind a door. Santa magic. Sure. He is a Santa ninja. Same way he sneaks in and out of a chimney. You guys are changing my mind on this. There were some inconsistencies in this movie. I agree. <laughs> what? You this know what wasn't I, as tight as I thought it was. You know what I just realized? Santa's sneaky. <laughs> Now that uh, I think about it, I've never Christmas seen him in my house, and How he's been in my house like 24 times. How does he eat the fucking cookies? Of course he's sneaky. Well, that's why he's so fat. That's why I give him gluten-free cookies. Because gluten's bad for you. Makes your penis no shoot off like a rocket. Here. <laughs> no, literally <laughs> shit. <laughs> so back to this movie. Um, yeah, good kills. Good kills here. And yeah, they are good kills. They're, they're fun kills. And... Uh, Cameron, why don't you tell us about it? Oh, <laughs> Actually, not not so fun kills. <laughs> well, let's just say, I mean, boyfriend had the most tragic death of all. You're right. You call yeah, it, that poor bastard. He died with blue balls. That's 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 not good for anyone. So Tiffany goes first, right? She dies first because boyfriend is theoretically stuck in the bathroom because the handle was busted off by Super Santa. I think he's stuck in the hallway, actually. Semantics. <laughs> <laughs> he was still trying to get in the door. Although hey, he was very ineffective. Cameron, how'd she die? Uh, well, basically, he picked her up and put her on a set of deer antlers. Yeah. Pretty quick way to die. Missed the Achilles, but... Oh, she was running and then... Yeah, he threw, Th- threw it at the... Who yeah. yeah. decorates their guest house in deer antlers? Damn I, it. I, it I, was, I was gonna take it to my guest house. Not anymore. Yeah. yeah. That's how you become mayor. You go on hunting trips. Well, if it's decorated with deer antlers, I'm, 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 I'm out. You stayed up here forever. Uh... But it was also very like uh, Ryan and I were saying. Uh, if yeah, you've seen Hannibal, yes, yeah, so very uh, Hannibal, uh, the series, the TV series, not I, the movie. No, I don't think I've watched the series. The there's series a series, great. You're missing out on life. I only yeah. saw the I only saw the movie version. So wait well, a minute, are you saying this is the same universe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hannibal was the same stuff. Is this the Minnesota Shrike? Uh, the Shriek. All of our stories <laughs> from this universe. <laughs> And then, uh, how was it again that the kid died, Cameron? This is the one. Uh, this wasn't the one where he just chops him right on the head, right? Like right in half. Oh, he right split his head. fucking head open yeah. with the second blow. Yeah, with that axe. Yeah. The axe right? mm-hmm. So it was right in the back, and then he turns around. He immobilized him just... with the old spine tap, spinal tap. Mm-hmm. Well, wow! And then, yeah, split his fucking head in half. And that was a good one. That was one where, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So that's why we didn't have any tits in that scene because they spent all the money on the a lot of splash. The, the squibs and the rubber and latex and sex dolls. Yep. And while all that was happening, we have another kill going on not committed by Santa. Damn. The only the I'm not gonna say the only, the first kill in the film that is not committed by Santa Claus. And that's when Go on. Deputy uh Aubrey there goes to the pay by the hour motel and finds Mr. Snow there um, cutting up a little snow. Carson with his two S's. Creepy yeah, as Car- hell. Dude. Carson with two S's. Creepy as hell. He was creepy. And he did look like Tobin Bell's brother. He did. He, very much so. Tobin Bell plays Jigsaw. So I'll do that. Yeah, he looked like a scrawny, cracked out Tobin Bell. Yep. Yeah. And as, like, she calls him out on everything. and Which I liked her watching him walk, like, on the, the catwalk to his hotel room or whatever it was. And he's, like, pulling off his hat and beard mm-hmm. and shit. Because the first reaction was, like, oh, that's the Santa. Mm-hmm. And then, nope, he's pulling all his shit off. And he's this bald, little, scrawny, creepy-looking dude. She catches him up there. He pulls out a handgun. Squirt gun, yeah. Yeah. Could have been a lighter. I don't know, a lot of lighters that say browning on the side, but... They're few and far between. Yeah, very realistic ones. Again, she's a terrible cop. She lets him get that pistol all the way around and trained on her. She you did. see that kill shot, though? She did. Eyes closed. Eyes closed, <laughs> hand shaking, and still yeah. right between the eyes. Have you seen all the stuff going on about police brutality? Yeah, well, she, she can't pull the trigger yet, dude. She didn't, uh... She can't pull the trigger. Her body can't put it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Like I said, she she gave the no look right between the eyes. Brains, brains all over the kitchen. And then she had to go back 
to work. I was glad there's a lot of paperwork in the amount of the amount of taunting that he gave back to her. Yeah, you can't do it. We both know you can't do it. And why do we know that? Still interested in that backstory that we never got. And the amount of blood that came out of his fucking head. That guy must have been eating beets for days. I don't know how that works, but hollow points. That's how I knew he was the bad guy because he was monologuing. He was. Yeah. He definitely was yeah. monologuing. You know? True. You don't want to talk. You gotta. You gotta be a person of action in those. Uh, in those. In those moments. <laughs> she. Uh, she finally took action. <laughs> yeah. She gotta wait long enough. You know. We we never had the scene of her realizing that. That wasn't the actual Santa killer. You know, like there was no like remorse. It well, was like ah, crack dealer dead. He gave me shit. Whatever. We, we never had the oh shoot. We never got the scene of her filling in the fucking crossword puzzle. We saw her solve it, but she, we I needed the closure of her actually writing it on the page. And even even after she solved it, it didn't seem like. It resolved anything or came at a critical moment. She appears to be having anything. some sort of uh, of I mean, shock. I mean, her solving the the, the crossword was like some tangent. Yeah, she's in the middle of this guy getting shot. She's in the head. she's dissociating out to where she is like gonna like regress back to like a six year old state because she just goes snowflake. Huh. I talked to the crossword editor. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. I shot this guy. Yeah, I don't know that snowflakes that guy are it. always <laughs> six sided. What's that? Are snowflakes always six sided? No, it was stupid as shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrible crossword. I mean, I wouldn't call a snowflake a side. I would call it a section. Well, now that we've complained about it, we'll be categorized as snowflakes for pointing that out. Uh, apparently. Mm. Don't worry, no one listens to Taylor anyway. So, hey, remember so after like, that when they go arrest Epstein? Yeah. <laughs> Which seems really fitting in our world. Yep. You know what? He also didn't kill himself. He's doing some justice. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good kill, though. Also, this is where Donald has his like fantastic monologue about Christmas. Great scene. And being Santa. It's almost like he's. The, I, I I like it to be in the Joker in his when he's put mm-hmm. in the cell and he's talking about. I want this. I want that. Meh, 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 meh. I want my yeah. yeah. Christmas is ridiculous, <laughs> and I'm tired of pretending it isn't. I'm a slap you, Christmas. All, all your parents are terrible. Christmas time is so super hard. I'm a slap so you, guys. Yeah. Christmas. They've got Epstein and his <laughs> monologue there. Yep. Um, they also have, in the meantime, this is the Audrey the... figures out her, or Aubrey figures out her dad's been killed. Gutted. Gutted. Mom is tied up in the closet. Pretty sure she leaves her mom tied up in the closet. <laughs> we never saw her cut any bonds or anything. Nope. So she just, she's still in the closet. Yeah. Mom's telling her, no, no, no. Don't go. And she's like, I gotta go, Mom. We all know she was better off there. Well, to be fair, if your mom's hysterical, maybe you should just leave her tied up yeah, until she calms should. down. Yeah. I mean, she should have given her one of those old-fashioned slaps to the face. <laughs> You're getting a stare. Airplane style. Yeah. Yes. Give her an enema. I don't think that's the same thing. <laughs> no, it's, it's not the same thing. She'll calm down. But, <laughs> I mean, no. she'll, she'll calm down. Maybe, or she'll get really excited. She's I don't know. Fill her up with water. We don't know so, her backstory. Did, did we miss the McDowell death? No, not, we're getting there. Yeah, because so, after after she, this. She's on her, like, she's working it on her head, and shit, I got to go back to the station. We got the wrong guy. Yeah. Uh, At the same time, sorry. (laughs) He's he's sending uh, uh, Deputy Giles, the worst deputy in the four man sheriff's department, uh, outside, and there's a car running, and he knocks on the window, and it rolls down, and there's nobody sitting in there. Uh, uh, Takes the axe to the chest. God, that fucking dude. The he goes up to the car, and there's like metal blasting out of it. The window rolls down on its own. And he goes, "Hello, who's in here?" <laughs> yeah. And then he gets an axe to the throat. He fucking deserved it. He die. deserved it out of sheer yeah. confidence. He had, he's guy. a cop. He knows how to approach him. He, his his death was just, the only thing that added to the plot. He had it coming. Instead of hand on his sidearm. Yeah. He still had two trash bags. Hello. He's still you, sucking his thumb. Would you yeah. like to shoot me in the face, please? Like this was a 
natural selection. This so was a Darwinism. So, yeah, so if he you needs your justification, that's it. But, no, you're the justification guy. That's, that's, that's it. it. All right, that's you got it. All right. That dude deserved to not be free. <laughs> Just, I mean. Fuck that guy. That's it. <laughs> and then we have, finally, Santa come full precinct 13 and enter the uh, police department. And Was it the sheriff who looks at the present? And yeah, he picks it, it up. Yeah. That it is a lump of coal. Yeah. Right. Well, because even he even has that it. line like, um, oh, "Fuck was the line?" It was so goofy. But like, this is when because uh, he he opens it, he takes out, and he's like, "Who would give me a lump of coal?" And then he op- he like looks up, and he's standing there with a flamethrower, and he's like cracking it, and he has that "You brought a flamethrower to a gunfight" line, and then he gets <laughs> burned to death. <laughs> Because he's not a good shot, apparently. Well, you have to actually pull the trigger it in order help. to be a bad shot. He's uh-huh. a no shot. It yeah. also helps to not monologue and just shoot the person true. that walks into a police department dressed as a Santa Claus with a flamethrower. I think I can still get two shots off, even if you uh, attack me with a flamethrower. I think I can manage that. Chamberlain. Give me two shots. <laughs> do, do you think Sheriff was deputy back when the dad was the sheriff? I was wondering about that too. Yeah, is, is, is everyone connected in some way? Yeah, I mean, because he's, he's, he's definitely old enough, right? Like the same age yeah. as Dad, whose guts are on the living room floor. But I think there'd be more connection when he saw the flamethrower. This movie was probably an hour longer originally. Yeah, like, that maybe, Waker Sheriff. That could, that would make a lot of yeah. sense. Now that I'm thinking of it, sipping his tea. Don't need it. And crumpets. But they were like, oh, yeah, all that is ridiculous, this whole thing. Let's just cut it down to an hour. <laughs> and they did. And once he flames? Yeah, flames the, uh, the, the it's, sheriff. I think it's flamethrowered. Flambe? It's flambe. Oh. <laughs> once he flambeed the sheriff, I like that. We have, like, a full five minutes, and then the sprinklers go off. And as Cameron pointed out... <laughs> The emergency lights are red and green, Christmas colors. And festive. once so again, Logan it comes in here. Who turned on the rain? <laughs> you know what's happening. <laughs> and we have creepy Santa go after the Brenda. Brent, no, oh. name call. Got it. She's the uh, what? Uh, what do they call those Secretary, people? Only Asian and crap. She's the dispatcher. 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 That's the word yeah. I'm looking for. That's right. And she ran into like a fucking concrete room, like a porn shop. Yeah, she ran into it. it's a concrete dead room with no windows. Hallway that they have. Yeah. There's it's nothing random. in there. There's no storage or anything. That's what I was saying. Random it's concrete room. Stack some boxes the in there for her to hide. What was it even for? And and he Santa goes for her, and then once he hears you know logo uh, Epstein, Epstein screaming. He just decides, oh, I'll just break this handle off. That way she can't get out. Once again, it doesn't work that way. Maybe he's trying to protect her. Maybe he was going That's to it. give her, like, a candy cane because she's a good little girl. Like and he gave the mayor's daughter the bloody candy. That's oh, right. Put yeah. it in blood. Yeah. Tastes hey, like copper. It's the thought that counts, okay? This and, candy uh, cane just like pennies. Yeah, and he broke off the handle to try and protect her because he knew shit was about to go down. I'm in that camp. <laughs> I don't think he meant to kill her specifically. I, I was glad that we had a Santa off. Yes. When he let Epstein out and he had the he's, moment He's talking shit, lets him out. He didn't he didn't just cut him in half, he didn't just slice him apart. They took a little bit of time and they had a fight. Like I mean, he choked him with the fucking He, he was uh, gonna axe. let him go. One hundred percent he was gonna let him go. Until he started talking shit I mean, the yeah. second he yeah, walked out. I think so. Head. Because he undid the gel cell and like literally was walking away. Well, I think that's because he was a nomad. He wasn't involved with the original bit where his dad got killed and all that. So he's like, ah, oh, you can go. See, I think it was because he was a Santa Claus. And then mm-hmm. they got to get stick together. If this had been a scary movie, uh, he would have cut the head off and the head would still have been talking sass to him. And then would have slowly slid... Uh, no, you just have to throw the head in a garbage can and walk away because it's going to keep oh, talking. Oh, you're talking scary movie. Never mind. Not a scary movie. Scary movie. Scary movie. Gotcha. I'm with you now. I mean, the, the, this had one of my favorite like pre-kill scenes. They get in the fight and he chokes him with the axe and all that other shit. 
gets him down on the ground, sets it like carefully sets the axe down on the chair and pulls out the brass knuckles that say, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then beats him to death. And then beats him to death. With yeah. Him. Glorious. Which, to be fair, I mean... To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. He could have lived. But we don't know. Epstein could still be out there. He didn't kill himself. Nope. Not that time. It's the last, like the, it's the last the one of those movies. ho, 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 knuckles. It's just fun for the corner. <laughs> Been alive enough this day. You got all those bruises Aww, on the face. It's a, it's a Christmas corpse. Hey, look, he was killed on Christmas. <laughs> and then we oh, have Aubrey come in, and you have that that final moment where she has the apparently pump flamethrower. I don't know what that that thing was where she the flamethrower like she, cocked she, it. She was just yeah, kicking the light back on. Shit. Yeah, kicking the flame on. And then hit him with it, which it was raining, so we all kind of knew. There's definitely. Mm, I, there's a, mm, yep. <laughs> <laughs> but he had been in the in the water for a while, so we all were like, yeah, maybe. And then we have the the finale, right, Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was asleep at that. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> And that's who, who wants she, to finish us off. She, she flame rowered him. Well, first Farm of bait. all, she pulled an Farm axe bait. out, and they had an axe versus axe battle. Yeah, you did yeah, have the Mandy I'm fight. Saying, if you if you get a torch somebody with a flamethrower, how could your catchphrase not be flame on? That was. Mm. Just, I like my Santa Charbroil. I don't think they could do that. I think they would have been copyrighted. Oh, I think that's a strict. I hear that every day, and I dismiss it. That's a strictly, uh, that's like the Inferno, the human Inferno. The Make human myself torch. a Santa Whopper. Flame kissed. He can have it. She had it her way. She did. At the end. <laughs> well, flame, kind of. Flame broiled. So the end scene in the police flame station. Flame through is the past no, tense. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I, I, I hate it. it. Strict it from no, the record. Yeah, disregarded. Yeah. I'm going to bleep that. Bleep. <laughs> the final scene in the police station is his beard beard and mask. mask on fire yeah yeah thinking that the spirit of saint nick himself has has just vanished <laughs> which is very halloween michael myers-esque they even yeah. had like the piano music going very slow malcolm mcdowell was there yeah from the top yeah it was burning slowly and, and that's when we get the backstory yes this dude with jacked up face in his truck they, pulling down his visor looking at his once family true papa, papa mama reminiscing on that time he watched them burn to death the day that it <laughs> yeah. started it all ah i just it's just like yesterday when i watched my parents burn to death on that, the court steps that night when his father burned his whore mother <laughs> and was shot by a cop and, and burned alive with his own moment left for her Ah, memories. <laughs> and and thought I will avenge. Practically, it, practically a Disney movie. He just drives out of town. Well, I guess it's time for me to be moving along. <laughs> Hitting the old dusty trail. <laughs> Where the fuck's it going? You know, on to the next town. I mean, you got for it next down. year for Christmas. Right, well, He's Christmas going over, to scout Santa the next to town. Oh, he is now a Krampus. You got a pass. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that scar's not fooling anybody in town. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. He's going to have to get that's some heavy good. tattoos on that thing. That's going to be noticeable. Also, get the uh, Mike Tyson. If you've ever been burnt, that shit sucks. <laughs> Explain it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Rob's had more experience with Imagine, like, you know when you burn your finger and you get in the shower and you're like, ooh, oh, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I've had third degree burns up both of my arms. And it's just the worst fucking thing in the world. I can't imagine being... Hit with a flamethrower in the angel. face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's yeah. got to just be a real treat. It's going to leave a lot. Clearly. A big well, end. luckily it's winter. And, you know, at least, uh, at least it's not summertime. At least it's not heat on heat, you know. It's cool. It's chilly outside. Are you still here? You probably go around without a jacket for a while. Because <laughs> the yeah. heat from his face. Well, at the end it was clearly spring because he had, like, his blue short... Uh, yeah. 
work shirt on, and he was had the window down. Yeah, the was, wheat the wheat was in bloom um, out in the field. He was rolling a cigarette. I don't know. Some recovery. He was definitely going to the next town to burn some more people. He found a, he found a veterinarian when nobody asked questions. Once you get a hunger for murdering people, there's nothing that quite quenches it. Yeah, just gotta find his yeah, dude with an axe. Yeah, he Easy. Is, well, I think he's party city. There's probably gonna be an Easter Bunny movie. Right behind this, maybe oh, yeah. a, maybe a St. Patty's Day. Cupid, oh, yeah. he'd be a good Cupid. He's bald. What, what, what are you killing on St. Patty's Day? You're not killing anyone on St. Patty's Day. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's happy. Everybody's drinking on Christmas. No, they're sad drinking on Christmas. Drinking's drinking. Drink, yep. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> drinking's drinking. <laughs> I know. Just don't make the leprechaun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything we miss that needs to be addressed, we're going to start with Ryan. I don't think we missed anything. I guess I, I don't think that this movie wasn't completely what I expected it to be. I'm not at all disappointed when I watched it, though. It was no violent night. Uh, don't fucking talk to me about that yet. I'm... Um, mm. Is it out? That, that, that's all I'm going to say? Yeah, we're going to... Oh, yeah. Did you watch it? We're James gonna... and I watched it the uh, day before yesterday. <laughs> We're doing that soon. We're going to go see it. Cameron? I think there was one thing that we missed. I don't think it was very important, but the uh, the stupid boyfriend or whatever you want to call him, Busey Jr. Yeah. Um, Peter Pettigrew. Right. Like we talked about that he was uh, stealing from Grandpa, but we, but we didn't go through the Grandpa scene. Oh, where he and, grabs him? Yeah, of, of him waking up from whatever... His, Catatonic slumber that he was in to say, be very afraid of Christmas. <laughs> Run when you see Santa, apparently. That's a good point. He must have been involved yeah. in the original right. slayings. And then all of a sudden got really deep and demonic and then went back to his little slumber. Although, as soon as the nurse listeners. comes in. And yeah. To be fair, the nurse basically gives to be fair, fair if I was fair. in a community where I'm on my deathbed waiting to die anytime anyone came in I would do weird shit like that be like don't fuck around with Christmas <laughs> like I would totally do that if I had my wits about me just give him some coordinates uh, tell it's him it's a good plan so, so it wasn't super important but it was the only time in the movie that I jumped when he grabbed the arm yeah was, I mean no one was expecting that I don't, like I said previously like I hate the jump scares it just ruins movies <laughs> but uh, uh, he needs to watch Hell House. I don't need to watch that. Oh uh, yeah, you would hate that. Next time you say you're ready for a pod, I'm gonna say what's on the docket. So I'm not watching that. I did like tonight's <laughs> response. I was like, hey, we're gonna do one. Do you want to be in? In. In. Didn't yeah, even ask. That's the thing. Like you guys have ruined me uh, <laughs> with this whole thing. Uh, but I I rate my movies on rewatchability. This is not one that I'll be rewatching. Has ever, so. have any ones that yeah. we've done? Uh, I think. Terrifier 2 is a much better oh, movie. All right. I'm surprised by that. It was like a rewatchability. Yeah. I, because it is so extreme, like it's gonna yeah. it's gonna be a minute like before I do it, <laughs> right? But this one was just entertaining on the you're laughing when you're not supposed to be laughing. Yeah. Aspect, right? Goofy like, fun. Right. If you want your your horror and your dismemberments and your killings and stuff, you, you can get that elsewhere. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily need to be a Christmas movie. Uh, with somewhat poor acting and poor written lines. No, it was poor acting. Well, I, mean, I, I wanted except, you to say it. Not, <laughs> except for Malcolm McDowell's house. Well, obviously. And Donna Lowe, I mean, you yeah. nailed everything. Taylor, what you got? You know what? Here's my final thought. All right, I'm going to meet you real quick. That, uh, <clears throat> that, uh, that, that poor girl who got thrown in the wood shepherd, she didn't deserve that. She's just a sex worker, you know? She didn't. She didn't do anything to. She's trying to make a little money. The fucking mill closed down. She's taking her top off. She's not touching anybody. Nobody's touching her. She's doing a photo shoot. Let her make her money. She didn't deserve to be killed. That's what I'm. I'm. I'm here for the sex workers. I mean, it could have been a, a, a sexy shoot for her husband, for all we know. All we know. Yeah. She we just, have no idea. Great point. Taylor. And how many? Sudden, how many sex workers are you friends with? Huh? I feel like you are, are rallying. Remember, this guy only shot porn for um, Asia and Japan. Oh, yeah, see, I don't remember Jesus. those things. Right? Well, she said but she says are... this is only going to be uh, released in Asia and or yeah, Asia and Japan, right? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah. So. yeah. 
So he's lying. He's he's uh, he's girls gone wild, dude. I mean, it's one hundred percent going to be on his OnlyFans. The yeah, next morning. yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, she's getting taken advantage of, if anything. And then and then all of a sudden, Axe Murder comes along, and kills her because she's impure. I don't think so. I don't think so. She's she doing it. She's doing a job. I think he just put her out of her misery before she could get hooked on heroin, oh. and be shipped off to Asia or Japan. I mean, that's he probably, did her a favor. That's probably true. But <laughs> <laughs> I take back everything I just said. That's probably true. James. Well, <laughs> the movie was fine for what it was, and in, in, in the in the plotline they gave us were like you know, slasher kind of horror stuff. But uh, for me, I, it's not going to be over till I get to see Brad Moore's Revenge. Oh. Well, I I, I, James, you want more? That, I, I, oh. want, I wanted more. I wanted her to see the whole plan laid out before her, and I wanted her to punish someone. You wanted her to feel bad for killing Snowflake, or whatever his name is? Looks Mr. like Snow? Because, because again, she didn't realize that she yeah. killed the wrong yeah. dude. If Looks you like... want more, you get that. You get that sad story of her going She's... back and just shooting some, I don't want to say innocent dude, but... Not the killer. He's not innocent. Be careful what you wish for, James. He pulled a gun on her, so <laughs> yeah. you pull a gun on a cop, fuck around and find out. Um, a little last matter over here for around, James. Find <laughs> out. Getting it. But yeah, I want I wanted to see Brad Moore get That's her true. revenge. I was a little too silent. No. no. I think now now the <laughs> Santa's had watched his father be killed and now she's had to see her father be killed. And now I want them to square off and like. Yeah, now we got the battle. Shit up. The battle of the Santa. The I want her to become personal. the next Santa. It is personal. Don't don't text me for Silent Night too. We're gonna watch it just a second. Yeah. <laughs> no. We'll bring you back for Silent Night three though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I feel like Me. this this was like it could have been two movies, but I'm glad they they cut a lot of that shit out because it was gonna be really boring if they left it in. So. This is definitely a fun watch, but don't think about it too hard. It's it's the Austin Powers 2 time travel where they're like, hey, we're just along for the ride. Don't think about it. We need a disclaimer. Who is it a fun watch for? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody but you? Like, like, what's the general audience that you would say, this is a fun watch for you? Santa well, Claus is who you've got to put up with. A I don't bunch know. Of shit all, all, every Christmas. I don't know Billy if you guys Bob have looked. Love this film. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have looked up, but Meryl's been hanging out of the vent the entire time <laughs> watching this. Target audience, right there. Uh, no, I mean if you like goofy B slasher movies, this wasn't really a a horror so much as a slasher. Mm-hmm. It had the the aggressive kills, and some of them delivered, some of them didn't. But you still had the the fun pieces of it, and it's it has the Christmas theme, which. Some movies do better than others, obviously, and I'll give it I'll give it a you know a, a pass for that because it as a Christmas themed Santa killer movie, it it took that kind of um, what was the original one Silent Night Deadly Night from the eighties, no one else could know, um, and, and it 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 kind of revamped it for the the modern generation. So I'll, I'll give it that much at least. It's it's worth a watch if you're looking for something goofy bloody for Christmas. Agreed. Well, hey, I think I think that's another one in the bank. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, Rob. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, for thanks. James. Appreciate it. Oh, also, James made a uh, forty-five foot Detroit pizza <laughs> that we have all been trying to eat, and there's still at least nineteen pounds left. My yes. mouth wasn't big enough. That's what <laughs> he said. Hey, thanks for listening to Talking with Birds. You can go to robgilkersbooks.com, listen to us anywhere, podcast, or listen to bubble, and we will be posting a couple more, how many weeks till Christmas? Two? Three? We got, we got at least a couple more Christmas movies in us. Yeah. And then we get to start, uh... Hey, send us requests for January. We're going to need January movies. The, the weirder, the better, please. Uh, Cameron will love him. All right, thanks. We got ghosts on Mars. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Are we recording?